Well, good morning. I, uh, so I took these reclaimed boards from a shed that I tore down and I used self tapping, uh, screws, more like bolts. They're definitely screws, but, um, attached them to the end. I got a couple more to do before we're at the top, but I want to show you the, uh, little mock-up of this little wood stove so I'm just gonna go straight out and I am gonna have it go like maybe like a foot foot and a half uh, out and then I'm gonna angle it kind of um, like at an angle upwards to kind of get it away because I mean this is tart material i want to try to keep it as far away as i can but here it is pretty stoked this winter when it's like super cold i'll be able to have a small fire going um the biggest thing is going to be finding dry stuff to burn in here but I go go for a drive around and just get some get some stuff i mean i got i got some dry out back here a little bit my dad's got some up there too that i can get um but definitely it'll be a game changer as far as like the long cold days um i can kind of just keep a small fire going in there and uh not have to use the space heater too much well there we have it oh installed <laughs> ikea wall and stove you know just some assembly required um it's not that bad there is some cracks here and there as you see um just gonna put a little bit expanding foam in the big ones and not worry about the other ones it doesn't need to be perfect in here i can work with it being between 50 and 60 degrees but it's just to help on those super cold days and i go work in the shop here and it's working it's it's extremely hot i mean i don't want to get much closer than that right there i got it closed up pretty much it's just sitting there burning away there we have it i mean it's not super awesome looking but it will work and it also doubles as weight to keep the keep my shop attached to the ground or on the ground um i kept the boards i'm not going to cut them off because i might want to reuse them in the future uh, and i got another tarp that's gonna go over go over it again have kind of like a double layer and then i'm instead of using the up and downs i'm going to use one or maybe a couple of different ones going this way towards the bottom just like stretch it and then just screw it into these boards here um and uh yeah so almost everything here except for that tarp I got for free. The second tarp that I got that's just like this one, I got for free. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that's working pretty good. I didn't want to... I could have put it... I could have put it up, but, you know, the kids know enough to stay away from it. They're not going to get near it. Yeah. She's pretty solid too. I use the these self tappers. They work great for doing this. I've had this idea for like pretty much half my life to do this. You know, when I was younger and wanted an area of my own, I wanted to do it, but never got a free structure. And this this is uh, the structure I got from free, for free. I got this front door canvas. 
um, doing a clean out it was for a much bigger uh, shelter but it works perfect the only thing that sucks is the uh, zipper broke so I just uh, I mean that's just the way it goes I use the uh, the connectors right there and there is a little bit of a gap but not much snow gets in there in the winter time there we have it well i need to clean stuff up because it's a mess in there it's a mess out behind there and i need to put a heater fan uh modular i guess in this baby it just showed up so oh yeah i've been wanting to hang those up forever old metal signs sweet yeah, put it on the wide angle there. Well, I cleaned my shop up finally. It'd been kind of a mess for a little while. I hadn't really hadn't really cleaned up. I'd just been kind of perpetually working, but it slowed up enough that I took the time and cleaned stuff out. I got that back wall in um, and got that little stove as a heat source. So this winter shouldn't be too bad. Got it all swept out. I mean, there's still a little bit. I didn't pull anything away from the wall. Didn't really feel like I had to. As of right now, this is the only thing that I have in the shop. I had stepped. I had stayed pretty busy, but it slowed. I got caught up and slowed up. Next week, I got a car I'm detailing, but it was for a charity event, so really not making much money um right at the moment i am gonna get this uh rototiller out here probably uh well monday i'm working uh somewhere else but probably next week i'll get that out and try to get it put together there's a box of somewhere over there there's a box of uh parts came to me in pieces gonna make it work but i've been so itching to hang those signs up somewhere and finally i uh finally i found the perfect spot the lawn boy is not in the best spot but um i think it's gonna be fine i actually was thinking about lowering that one down to the top of the pipe and then putting that one up above but yes so anyways i gotta clean this up and i gotta clean the top of that up but oh and i i gotta clean that bottom thing out too that's the the bottom in all of those toolboxes always ends up like that nutty huh anyways um yeah i mean i it's gonna it it's gonna take the edge off i'm pretty excited about that um I got this jet heater, which does work good, but I mean, I mean, I guess if all else fails, if, if that's a total failure. Which one's the creepiest? Anthony's. No, mine's the creepiest. Really? Any creepier? That's funny. Well, what can I do? Like, his is so like this him. one is Mariah's. This one's Lily's. Oh, yeah. Mom's is pretty creepy. That one's mine. With the broken candle. <laughs> and this one is Emily's. And this one's Lucas's. Yeah, those are cool. We got the coolest jack-o'-lanterns in town. <laughs> 